Hello everybody, Mr. Pilgrim here coming at you with the sixth video in our Platinum Trophy Guide for Hellpoint. Now, we had just gone through and defeated Uthos, the first cosmic being and or god of the game, out of three of course, and from here we're actually going to backtrack to the Arcology underside outside. So we'll go back to the SAS, and that is so we can grab a important key item needed for the Architect's questline. So I will show you guys how to get it from here. So from the Arcology underside outside SAS breach, you'll simply follow the path that I take to the area that has the nervous wiring as well as getting a new uh, better uh, suit as well the downside being of course that it is um, a little bit heavier so you'll follow the path that I'm going to take and this will lead you to that side area that I mentioned when going through the this area before but you can basically follow the path that I take as it's pretty straightforward and leads right to it regardless. If you really want to, you can just run past all of these enemies and go for it. So when you come out here, you'll hug this wall here and take this exo lift up. Finally figured out what the name for those are. Now while I'm here, I will also point out, um, that there is a coin that you can grab right there obviously I'm not going to grab it because of the sake of the coin guy that I'm going to make at the end but you'll take this extra lift all the way down from here you can follow this underway over to the right over here following this path up Here you'll find a new armor set, not a full armor set, but a new one in a sense, the Minor Thespian. What we're going to do is run out past this big guy here, run up these stairs, and if you come over here past this ice glacier or whatever, you will find this hidden walkway over here. Now you're basically going to want to run and jump, and then when you can, just make a beeline for it as there'll be this artillery firing at you. You can use the broken debris to keep you safe. And then coming over here, you'll have another exo lift. From here, you can actually come over here off to the left and up here, you can grab a new item. The prying tool or the crowbar of the game. Might as well point out some interesting things. <clears throat> From here, the main path is pretty much just to head inside right here. But if you also come over here off to the right and follow this around, you will find some axions. Now we can finally head inside. Now up, that exo lift isn't anything of important that I have found. But after defeating this guy, we can follow the path over here off to our right. As you'll see, there is another coin right there. Once again, I'm going to hold off on that just so you guys can see in the coin video. So from here, we now have a bit of platforming to do, which is always so much fun. The best way I found to do it is to jump to the first one, do a sprinting jump, and then do normal, regular walking jumps to control your character a little bit when doing the slow descent down. Don't want to over jump and then die, as you'll see right here. Now, there, that is a optional item you can grab and try and go for. I'm not going to go for it. So now from here, you have to kind of slowly make your way down. You will end up taking some damage. Then from 
here you can kind of pop down jump onto this area down here or die but as you'll see at the bottom which I will now skip to is where you'll find the nervous wiring so once you make it down and I did figure it out it instead of trying to jump down on some of these last few you basically just want to walk off the edge and fall down but as you'll see right here you'll get the material nervous wiring now you have two paths the right path or the left path depending on how you're looking at it we're gonna go for the left path if you're coming out of the door simply because uh, once again there is another coin in this area that we can collect and once again I'll wait for the video but from here you'll jump on the exo lift and take this all the way up both sides will lead to the same place so don't worry about picking a wrong path but from here you basically just want to run and jump and you'll come to this area that has the exopath on it then you'll eventually have to jump backwards so simply not holding any directions just hit X and you will jump backwards in here is where you will find the new armor set the Aegis armature and then from here you'll find that shortcut door that leads to the boss of the area as you can see but now from here we are finally going to head to Port Isodun I hope I'm saying that right so we're going to head to the observatory and then head there so I'll see you once I'm there back at that breach that we had gotten the first time we had gone there so starting off here in Port so is what I'm just gonna call it. You can find a hidden room here with the first bull's head uh, headpiece that you can make. So coming on down here, like I said, you'll be introduced to a thespian, and then off here across this bridge here, you'll have a new enemy type. These are the actual, I guess, minor thespians, and there's a couple of items you can grab right here. But coming down here, we're going to head into this building here, and we're going to grab the credentials that we need to continue on so heading in you can drop down and right here you can find some refined carbon and over here in the corner you can also find some more refined carbon and here in this little area tucked away is a ration now the rations you can give to a NPC in the observatory it's the guy hidden down below but here you'll get the freight credentials here you'll see that the door behind us has locked. So depending on things, you might get these hands, or you might get these actual key enemies, like so. But basically, it's just a gank. Once it is all said and done, you should be able to, I believe, come over here. No? Ah, here it is. Here's the switch, and now you can leave. So from here, you basically just have to go over here to this door. And this will lead us to the next area of the port. Pretty much that's how most of this area is, is, you have to get keys for other areas, and so on. You'll take this exo lift down, find another one of these hands. Those are going to be a common thread in this area here. But in here you'll have this L room, what I'll call it. And you have uh, one of two paths that you can take, or you can choose to grab the third one while we're here. So if you hop down, deal with all of these hands, come over here and grab this item, a diamond ingot. If you head up this extra lift here, here is where you'll eventually come around and find 
the new breach of the area right here. Now, for now, we can't enter the door right here, so that's okay. So we'll just head back down. Now, from here, you basically just run and jump, and you'll be outside of that little area again. For the sake of things, we're actually going to head off here to the left. I like going this way. Here, you'll find the first uh, set of credentials that you'll need. You'll need three in total, but here's the first one. I just like to run, grab this item. Depending on how good you are combat wise and how the enemies like to behave as you'll see they sometimes will just run off these enemies aren't that hard to stagger so don't worry about that now I'm just gonna try and contain this to the main path so from Look, if you're looking at the credentials, if you look to your right here, this is the next path to take. So you'll have to run and jump here. <clears throat> Depending on things, there'll be that guy shooting up at you. Which is pretty easy to deal with. You can take the exo lift up. And depending on things, he might just fall down and die. So from here, if you jump across, you can grab the silo key, which is the key you actually need for that uh, door at the breach. But for now, we're going to continue on. So if you come and hit this button right here, and then run around and jump, you'll find a secret room with a coin and a model uh, light melee conductor. And then if you come over here to this little area, you should hear that weird specific um, sound effect that will let you know that you found the hidden elevator here as you'll see now be prepared for a gank in this room it is pretty tough basically though you can lure this guy away before interacting with it pretty nice There we go. So now if you come in here, you'll see the ambush will take place. Basically, it's supposed to be a big ambush. Depending, of course. But luckily, these enemies don't do a lot of damage. So continuing on here, you'll have this little side area, which will have the second bull's head, and then if you come out here, this is how you get onto this little area right here. Trust me, this whole area kind of loops back around on itself, and you'll get a thespian hook. Now, <coughs> those minor thespian enemies drop this item very frequently, so don't worry about not having this item as if you're stuck in this area you'll probably end up fighting uh, those guys a bunch so don't worry so now if we actually drop back down we can then continue on and jump into this room here depending on things could either have a an enemy like so or uh, but continuing on, as you'll see right here, we'll have the anti-rad injection. Now, this area, like I said, it loops around on itself to the Now, obviously, I'm just going to show you guys the main stuff. So don't worry about that. 
now you'll have that Concilium Rod. That side area isn't really important. However, along this wall here, you'll find a hidden room. As you see right here. And this is where you will find the monolith. Now, we're not going to worry about that just yet. <clears throat> As you'll see, the event has taken place. Now, coming down the stairs, you'll find another item. But for the sake of things, we're actually just going to head back to the uh, breach. So I'll see you there. And now we can go through the silo door. Alright, like I said, once you're here back at the breach, you can finally head in and use the uh, silo credentials. Here you can take this exo lift down. Depending on things, if you want to, you can also <clears throat> equip some things for your Omni Cube, like the light, as well as the quantum light. It really is just up to you, depending on how much you want to trust my ability to guide you. Here you'll have the our prank hostess enemies. Kind of tough, but also not. They will also drop a fragment of a thespian. Luckily, if you can get behind some of these enemies, then you'll be fine. In this area, I highly just recommend just running past these two Thespians here. No point trying to fight him and waste time, of course. But here we will slowly descend down. You can just jump, you don't have to run and jump. Depending on how good you are, there you go. Just go for a normal exit, and then you can kind of jump past the... <clears throat> Um, exo lift there to get the four tools head and then from here you'll have one last jump I recommend just going for a sprint jump just to be safe here you'll have another kind of optional area of things to do <laughs> A bunch of the minor thespian enemies are here, as you can see. In this chamber here, you won't get ambushed or anything, so don't worry. You'll find the major thespian set. So, for those of you fashion hunt hunters, there you go. Don't know where that one guy killed himself, but he did. <laughs> so, in here, as you'll see, you'll have two more major thespians to deal with. One of them is guarding the next set of credentials that you'll need. Basically, the best bet is to wait for her to do the one attack where she'll buff the weapon. Then from here, you can come and grab the Vault Credentials B. Now, as you'll see right here, there is that path down below. We're going to head down there. Don't worry. If you stick to the right side, you won't fall. You'll find this hidden area here that you want to take. You'll want to just kind of drop down here and then drop down again. Don't worry, you can get back up. You'll take the exo lift down 
and here you'll be at a completely hidden area. <clears throat> there are no enemies, but you do need to come here for the architect's quest line. So here you will have this computer. So you'll, if you're doing the architect's quest line, it'll let you know. But if you don't, I will still give you the code. This will still work. So it's seven two five zero one. Basically, you'll want to lift the state of emergency protocols and relay the power to the high ateliers. Once you're done, you can now head back. And that is one of the two objectives that the architect has given us. The next won't come until probably the next episode at the Arisen Dominion. So now we can climb back up. Not. Depending on the enemies, of course. There we go. So you'll simply. Okay. I will just mess it up completely. So from here, jump up. Actually move, and then jump. And then you can slowly work your way up. And then you can take the little elevator here back up. Now from here, there's only one more thing I'd like to point out. In this area, of course. So, running along this area here on the left, you'll eventually find this staircase. And another minor festival. Here in this room, you'll find all of the crafting stations that you could ever need. As you'll see right here. Couple of enemies and things. Like I said, if you need to craft anything, by all means go ahead, as you can also process the resources that you have. As you'll see, the fool's heads are also available as well. Basically, whatever you want to do. <clears throat> But from here, we're going to continue on. Now, actually, there is a little hidden side path right here that you can undertake. I would highly recommend uh, turning on the light to see. But as you'll see, there's this little jumping puzzle here. This will take you up to a room with a key, or a coin, not a key. And death. Awesome. Anyways, I'm gonna actually head back to that area and show you what you get. Alright, so now that I know it's a sprint jump, I can <clears throat> come over here for <clears throat> 1,111 axes and also a secret room. As you can see, the room is filled with a bunch of things. I assume mainly just axioms. If I'm proven wrong, here we'll have also another coin. So, just a bunch of axioms. Awesome. Now, the main question is how do you get down? Ah, okay, I see. So now if we actually, oh, ah, okay, I think I know how I'm going to do this. So from here, you can actually just run and jump to the bridge here, <clears throat> and this will actually take you back up. Or depending if you want to, you can just take the breach. That'll probably be safer, so I'll skip going back to the breach. This basically heads back up to the uh, staircase I pointed out, but didn't go down. So, from the breach, you'll finally be able to head back down and into that big circular room. So, you'll just run down here. 
trying to clone myself, as you see. And here is where you'll input those credential keys. Depending on how ready you are, this is where you'll head down and fight the boss, Ozzy. I'm just going to abbreviate his name or shorten it. <clears throat> now, depending, of course, if you want to, you can always head back. And head to the monolith. Which, from this door, you'll head to the right. head down these steps and it'll be right in here pretty easy but for the sake of things I'm not going to do that of course I will simply be showing you guys how to do this boss so once you're ready I would highly recommend having here we have a tougher enemy than the normal demons. The Alpha. This guy will always drop Nile shards. Or nil shards, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that. <clears throat> Anyways, I would highly recommend having anywhere from three to four uh, uses of healing just because he can sometimes be quite an annoying boss. But I think I can do this fairly simple, fairly easily. So, yeah. Alright, once you guys are ready, Turn on your light and head down to fight Ozzy. He's a pretty tough boss. Basically, you want to try and stay as close as you can to him. That would be the best time for you to get in on your and take out his hands as quickly as possible. Whenever he does that swipe move, that is a definite worry attack to go for. <clears throat> Make sure you're at full stamina when he does it. The further into the fight it goes, the more anti is coming. <clears throat> Do you keep that in mind? Somehow that hit. Do 
you be careful as that attack will easily take you out. Like I said, whenever he summons his hands, it's best to try and avoid. Towards the end, he'll start summoning six hands. Trying to make sure that you stay as close as you can sometimes. him you will get the master of puppets trophy pretty easy as you can see we are almost at 100% we are at 97.9% now there are some uh, notes and things I've probably missed along the way that would easily push me to being at 100% but don't worry we are almost done so depending on how you want to go about it uh, the best thing that I would suggest doing is instead of taking the door back to the embassy, we're just going to actually travel to the uh, embassy great halls. This is where you beat the Archon Slaver. So from this breach, you'll basically just follow the path that I take and this will lead you to the Arisen Dominion. This is that door that was locked at the very end of the hallway here. Now after you defeat Ozzy, his hands will start showing up in other areas. So do keep that in mind if you're not prepared for them, they will uh, kind of surprise you. Anyways, coming on down here all the way at the end of this hall. Is the door to the Ar Arisen Dominion. As you can see, you'll get the credentials after defeating Ozzy and then you can head inside. But once you're here inside, you'll immediately find the breach here off to your left. Some carbon scraps. But that is going to do it for this video. I do know this is a little bit different than normal. I normally try and cover two areas, but towards the end of the game here, these areas start to get a little bit bigger and there's more stuff to talk and do. So <clears throat> I do hope that this video and these guides have been helpful and informative in any way, shape, or form. As always, this has been Mr. Pilgrim, and I will see you in the next video of Hellpoint.